I think it was really the fashion industry that inspired me to do this. It's all about the clothes for me. Fashion illustration is, it's like a different form of expression than photography. You have a lot of fashion photography out there, but not a lot of fashion illustration. So it's a, just a different expression of um, the figure, a different expression of the wardrobe, the, the way the wardrobe moves. It's different than design. I'm not like designing the clothes. I'm just taking the photo or taking the person and transforming it into something new. Before photography, there was only illustrators um, illustrating these ideas for magazines and then helping designers out as well, illustrating the figure, which was a very important part of like seeing the dress before the design was made. And then, yeah, you had the illustrators who were working for Vogue or WWD. There was a guy named Rene Gru, and he was one of my favorite illustrators, and he, you know, kind of dominated that field. But unfortunately, like once photography came, it was like a quick way to seize the moment and it kind of took over illustration at the time. I think an illustration is more special than a photograph. I know a lot of talented photographers, but it's very like straightforward, this is the image. With an illustration, you're taking an idea and recreating it into something new, something more magical. I really want to express a gesture with my fashion illustrations. It's more mesmerizing, it captures like color and light and movement. That's what really what I want to capture with my illustrations. So sometimes I'll take a photo and I'll stylize it more. Everything's always changed up. It's never exactly the same as a photograph. I focus more on the clothing when I do the illustration. I really like couture gowns. Couture is like a high design, uh, a way of sewing and intricate patterns. I like that it's telling a story in a way. And I just like the whole movement of the couture compared to a street style that you might see. For the mediums that I use, I play around with a lot of different things. I, um, I use colored pencil, ink, watercolor, gouache, acrylic, anything that I can find. I really like to mix it up and try different techniques. The type of clothing definitely makes a big impact on what I use for the medium. If I see a flowy dress, I might want to use watercolor because watercolor is very graceful and elegant. So I combine a lot of digital and traditional methods together, especially when I'm working for uh, a client for a magazine. So I'll start the illustration off traditionally. I'll do like a pencil drawing and I'll do my watercolor and ink. Then I scan it in and I finish it up in Photoshop. And I might like do this several times to get the exact essence of what I'm trying to represent. I've worked for a lot of different companies in fashion. I've worked for Roger Vivier, it's like a couture um, shoe company in Paris. I've worked for Elle magazine and Glamour magazine, a lot of fashion magazines. My favorite project that I worked on was for Roger Vivier. I designed a bunch of greeting cards for him um, and his company, and that was a lot of fun. It was like a very luxurious brand to work for, and I'd really like to work for different brands like that. The daily struggle that I have is to be playful and precise at the same time. In my personal pieces, those are always the most fun for me. So I just try to be a little bit more free. I try to be a little bit more fluid in what I'm doing. I think people really respond well to my personal pieces. Um, maybe because I'm not overthinking them as much. Uh, I think that they really like the gesture that I put into my personal pieces and the color and just the overall feeling is just more creating something that's beautiful for someone to put in their home or you know, to, sh to show to their friends and family. I just wanna share my work with people. Interacting with the community here is really important to me. I started seeing illustrators doing these sketching events a few years ago, you know, in bigger cities like New York and Paris and I thought, I really want to bring that to Detroit. I want to do the same thing and nobody else is doing it. So I 
contacted Neiman Marcus and Saks, and they were both on board, and they started having me uh, regularly sketching. I bring all of my supplies with me, some paper, and then people just start coming up to my booth, and they see me sketching. I usually like take a photo of them, or they'll stand in front of me and pose, and I'll do my sketch, and it's kind of like a takeaway gift for them for the evening. I sketch a little bit of everything. I sketch people dressed to the nines in gowns, and then I dress people in streetwear. My favorite is when people are really dressed up. It makes it a lot of fun. I like when people are dressed, you know, bold and with lots of color. It really gives me an opportunity to get out there, talk to people, interact with them, and just, you know, see what they respond to. It helps me to improve upon myself when I see if they react to one sketch compared to another sketch. Well, when I started doing these events, I realized that I had to be very quick. I only have a certain amount of time to sketch somebody. And I realized that I, I don't need to spend, you know, hours and hours and hours on one single illustration. People really like it when it's simple and fluid. And I try to bring that into my work at home to remember to keep it simple keep it playful, and don't overthink it too much. The community loves it. They're excited about it. I've had a ton of support from people here in Detroit, so it's been really great. I think that the illustration just brings a different outlook on fashion. I think people sometimes respond more to the fashion illustration than if they were to see it in person or even on their computer screen with photography. It just brings more of a special feeling. I don't think fashion illustration ever gets boring. I think it's something that evolves over time. I think my style could change again, like it has in the past. Uh, it just depends on you know, the trends, what's going on, and what I think people are responding to at that time. Mm -hmm.